this project, you guys are going to be doing a scavenger hunt photo collage. So what we're going to do in Photoshop is after you get your photos, we're going to go to File, New. And we are going to create something right here using inches. So we're going to go here and we're going to make this 8.5 and this 11 inches. Um, excuse me, we're going to go 11 inches wide, 8.5 inches tall. And then for our resolution, we're going to change this to 300. That's a really important number. Please make sure to change that to 300. That's a big deal. All right. Click on create. And here is our screen. And really simple. We're going to do some things with some simple sh with a simple shape first. So let's just do a let's do an ellipse here. So we're doing an ellipse. You've done this a million times. I'll make it a perfect circle. Place it in there. And you can see now that I've got an ellipse there. Next, I'm going to grab and place an embedded image because on your desktop you have a folder called Scavenger Hunt. And there it is right there. Double click on it. And because you changed your names on everything, it made it so that we can find the pictures really easily. So I'm going to use this one right here. Let's just start with pink. So there we go. I have to find a picture of pink for pink. So I'm going to resize it by holding down shift always, right? Put it right where I want it to go, like that. Go ahead and input it. And then go over here and I hold down, put my mouse right between these two lines right here, hold down the option key on my keyboard, notice how that changes, and then clip it into place. Okay, so there's pink in the pink folder right there, or in the pink uh, circle there. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to do something new. I'm gonna hit select, excuse me, shift, and that will select those two layers. So if I click off of them, you can see which one is active. I want these two to be active together. So I select one, then hold down shift, select the other one, and then I'll go scroll back here, and then I'm gonna to go to layer, and go over here to where it says merge layers. Just that one, not merge visible, but merge layers. So what that does is it goes over here now to your layers. Instead of having two, it has one. Um, I can't move where she is inside of the picture, but she's connected to it. If I was to resize it, I can resize it. I can then click, drag, and move it wherever I want to. So I'm gonna go something about that size. Click on OK and do that. And then the last thing I want you to do for each one of the images, and continue, we're just continue on learning how to do this stuff, we're gonna put a layer style in here. That layer style is gonna be a stroke. So I'm gonna go double click there, I'll click on stroke, click on my little swatch, and then I'm gonna choose a color inside of there. So of course I'm gonna choose a pink color, and then I'll make it just a little bit larger and do something like that. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, that's a simple one. That's what we've done already before. Next shape that we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here, hold mouse button down, and go down here to where it says Custom Shape Tool. There are tons of shapes that we can use in Photoshop. And so once you have that custom shape selected, you come up here, and we can hit this little down arrow here because these are the shapes that we can use. And here's some to start with, right? So anything you see that's in white is where the white area is what will show. So like this would be a really good one because we can see all kinds of stuff coming through there. This would be a really bad one because we couldn't see very much if we were gonna go ahead and put a photo inside of there. Good, good, meh, no, no, probably not. Maybe, probably not, eh, probably not, but yeah. But here's what we wanna do. Let's go over here, drop this down, and let's give us more shapes to choose from. So what we'll do is we drop down this list and we'll just go show me all the shapes. You're gonna get a little warning. It's gonna say, do you want to replace all the current shapes with the shapes from all? Yep. Now, when I scroll through, you can see you've got a lot more to choose from. And some will work really well, some won't still, but let's try this shield one right there. So if I was to take that shield, click and drag, hold down shift. Okay, I've got a nice looking shape there. I'm gonna put a photo inside of it. So I'll go place embedded. Make this one my, how about texture one? So I'll go texture one, and make this a little bit smaller. Fit it right over the top of that, okay? Enter it into place. Go over here, so there's my texture, there's my shape. Put my mouse right between the two of them, hold down the option key. That'll clip that down into that texture. Perfect, okay? Uh, I'm gonna select, again, like I did last time, I'm gonna go over here, select those two, and then go to layer and merge layers. Let's do that, it's one shape. Now I can put my effect on it. So double click there, go to stroke, 
And remember, it, it, it remembers what you did last time, so it's going to put pink on there again. I don't want pink. I want to go to my color picker, and I'll choose kind of a darker color around there. Uh, let's see if I get something a little darker. No, I guess that's about as dark as I'm going to get. Good enough. Click OK. Oops. OK. OK. And we're good. OK. That's the process. So one more time. I'll do this quickly without talking here. Well, I'll talk a little bit. Shape. I'm going to go try a car. Let's see how the car works out. Car. Now I'm going to go File and Place Embedded. I'll go to my Texture 2 Place. Put it right over there. I'm going to resize it. A little too big. OK. Return it into place. Go over to here. Move my mouse between these two areas. Hold down the Option key. Click one time. OK. So now the car is filled in there. And then Shift click between these two layers layer, merge layers, or if I want to start using this, I can use Command E also. So I don't have to click on layer, merge layer, I can press Command E. As soon as I press Command E, it became one object. Double click there, stroke, and I want the stroke to go, it's going to the center, so it's messing my car up. So I'm going to go to the outside, color, choose something kind of dark, okay, okay. So we've got that. Okay, so you keep on going, do all your pictures like that. And then lastly, uh, let's, let's pretend we're all the way done with this. Now let's go ahead and put some text in here, okay, because we're going to label each one of these things. So once everything's in, just go to the very top layer because we want the text to be on top of everything. So I'm just going to hit T for type. I'm going to go ahead and click right on top of my first picture there. And my font looks a little bit big right now, so I'm going to go probably 30 to start with. And I'm just going to type in pink. There's the, the name right there. So you notice that the text is hard to see because it's in white like that. So here's what I'm going to do. Looks okay, but I just I need a stroke around it. So I'm going to go over here to my text line over here. Double click. I'm going to give it a stroke. There we go. So it's in a deep green color right now, but I just want it to be black. So I'm going to go ahead and choose black and put that there like that. All right. So that's perfectly labeled. Everything looks good. You can see what it looks like over here, right? So now work smarter not harder we're gonna hold down the option key on this <coughs> excuse me hold down the option key click and drag and that'll give us a second copy hold down the option key click and drag that'll give us another copy so move it to where you need it to be then just go over here double click and change the name of it <coughs> so this will be texture no, let's go texture 2 hit the little check mark there Double click right here, and I can call this texture one. Now, if it's too big, Command T it, make it just a little bit smaller. So I'll grab it from the center in, so maybe it's a little bit smaller. Okay, if it's too big, select it, press Command T, Shift, Option, Drag, make it just a little bit smaller if you need to. Okay, so we're going to label everything like that. Okay, that's the entire thing. That's how we do it. You should have 22, 23 pictures. You have to count, make sure. All right. Good luck.